everybody. Welcome to Overcoming My Lung Disease. Donnie Vapor here. Hope everybody is doing well. We're all fighting the good fight, that's for sure. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, last month or so, I really haven't been feeling too well. I mean, uh, I've been feeling run down and it's a little bit harder to breathe and uh, the inflammation has been a real problem. So I'm looking and searching for a way to shut down the inflammation. I felt like I was coming down with a really bad uh, cold. So I have um, a Z-Pack in the medicine cabinet, which is a, an antibiotic that my doctor always lets me keep on hand just in case, you know, break the glass. And I did that and I had a lot of leftover prednisone. I'm like my own doctor. So I did a low dose of prednisone, 20 milligrams, stepped down to 10, stepped right down to five to two and a half. And we're talking maybe a period of a week, a week and a half. So not that long. And that really opens up the breathing. It, it controls the, uh, the inflammation. But the problem is it lowers your resistance and I don't want to be dependent upon prednisone. So I'm going crazy studying what can I do to remove inflammation. That's the, that, that's the ticket. If I can remove inflammation, everything would be great. So I know over a year ago, I was drinking green smoothies. And believe it or not, I felt fantastic back then. I did fall off the wagon. I'm only human. And I'm here to say I'm back on the green smoothies, which is a ton. I mean, a ton of kale and a ton of spinach in a Vitamix blender. That's that crazy uh, mortgage your house blender type situation that I'm lucky enough to own. And uh, I do that with unsweetened almond milk and filtered water. And I put about a quarter of a cup or more of chia seeds and uh, flax seeds. That's your omega-3 fatty acids. And it's a fluorescent green mixture when that gets pulverized and, and blended up. And it doesn't look very appetizing. So we make it taste good by putting in a frozen banana and some frozen blueberries or some frozen strawberries but it's pretty much 75% vegetable and it's chlorophyll and it's all those good phytonutrients. And uh, I'm back on that again this, this week so far. I haven't missed a day. I'm doing three a day, which is uh, three 32 ounce green drinks. And it's a meal in itself. I'll tell you, it tastes fantastic. Doesn't look good, but it tastes really good. And I'm hoping that's gonna help reduce the inflammation and alkalize my body. That, that's important. And another thing that just came across my radar, my sister sent me this study I want to show you. I hope it's not backwards, but I'll post this up right here. And basically, it's a study about metformin, which is a very common diabetes medication that's being studied. And the study says that metformin reverses established lung fibrosis. It's dated July 2nd, 2018. University of Alabama and Birmingham. So, I mean, I was all over that. I'm reading, uh, it's a big study, and it's been done with mice and rats. I don't believe there's a lot of uh, human trials, but I'm fixing to make myself one of those human trials. After all, me personally speaking, what do I have to lose? I get diagnosed, and they tell me it's terminal, and they tell me I have uh, three to five years to live, and uh, I absolutely have nothing to lose. So that's what this channel is about. I try things out on myself and I put it out there for people that are following what I'm doing. And and uh, I have to speak with my doctor and hopefully he'll be on board. If not, I'll find another doctor. And if not, I'll find another doctor. And if not, I'll find another doctor. But I'm going to get myself on the metformin. And I've been researching that like crazy. And there's really not a lot of downside on the metformin per se unless you have kidney issues, which I don't, knock on wood. So I'm not gonna have the lactic, lactic acid build up. That's a problem with people on metformin that have kidney issues. But I wanna find a dose that's uh, therapeutic that might work and just test myself and see if I feel any better. I wanna see if uh, my pulse ox readings go up. So I'm pretty much, I'm in the lab, I'm Dr. Frankenstein. I'm working on myself, I mean, cause that's all I've got. If I'm not, if I'm not for me, and who else is going to be for me? I mean, when it gets down to that granular level. So I just wanted to post that out there. And I'm super duper encouraged. And I'll let you know how I make out and what's going on. And we'll see what happens. That's this video. That's what it's all about. So it's green smoothies. It's going to be the start of metformin. And, and a whole bunch more things if I can find them. I believe in throwing the kitchen sink 
at this disease because life is worth living. And that's what you have to do. This, that's what I need to do. Uh, I hope you like my videos. Please give them a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget, leave your comments down below. You know the drill. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I want to get an army of people watching my videos all over the world because it's going to make people's lives better. If I can bring cool information and make people feel better and I can inspire, then I'm doing, uh, I'm doing God's work. And that's what I'm really trying to do with this channel. Okay, I'm rambling on long enough. I will talk to you guys next week. And with that, Donnie Vapor is signing out and telling you to remember to live inspired.